is a, a collection of pretty neat bunch of people. Fantasy, it's in music, ensemble. Kind of the, uh, the select of Village Harmony and whoever else Larry wants to put in it. Constituted for particular tours. The same group, but also um, a social world. A wonderful combination of creative, intelligent, really colorful people. Together and go on fabulous tours and give workshops and concerts. Travel the place. Play frisbee. Sing constantly. Crack a lot of jokes, travel around in vans for long hours. Travel the world and actually change people's lives. Besides just saying. At least conversations that I have had repeatedly on this tour with people that have um, come to concerts and workshops and things. It's pretty clear we have given them something maybe not, they're not used to getting. It's music that a lot of people have heard. Some people are clearer about what it's meant to them than others. It's an experience that that elevates, um, I think. The experience of hearing music and the experience of seeing us interact with each other. I think it promotes really good feeling. Um, well, at this point, it's been five weeks um, of, of touring in England. We've been together since the 15th of January. About three weeks together in the United States. And tomorrow's the 15th of March, so... Total, like, eight weeks? Yeah. I think it's pretty unique the way that we come together um, in this group as opposed to other groups. Um, yeah, we come together for very different places. And then we get together for a week and live together and rehearse for like a gazillion hours a day. And we rehearsed for maybe about eight days, something like that, eight or nine days. And then we started concerts, and our first concert was not great. <laughs> we learned all the music mostly just through repetition singing it over and over. Good old-fashioned hard work. I mean, you've just got cozy, cozy pastel, oh, something in these Well, Larry's a slave driver. It's, it's really open, like a very respectful... Um, um, and he locks us up in cages at night. Uh, and in eager, a lot of times. And only brings us out um, when when we sing well, people are really interested in not only one another but what it means to be singing with one another. This group was so fast. The words are hard for me, so I had to learn it. But sometimes by writing the words down and really trying to think about them and make up complicated like memories and visual imagery and stuff just to remember the words. I mean, I've been on some good good tours musically, but this one I think has to be at least one of the two best, if not the best. You know, I'm probably not very good at it. I probably can't even remember half the words if I were to sing them by myself. The quickest to get together, the tuning is so good, and the sight reading was really good. I can't just like see a line and remember it without having some visual imagery. It's really exciting, really fun. Everywhere the 
both girls weren't going to contradict. Everywhere. Let's go in the bathroom and contradict. All won't pass. How are you doing? <coughs> I'm kind of sad. But I'm good. We're going to do some cosh dancing. Just to end. I'm singing. Don't tell me I can't sing. <laughs> I'm an American. Thank <laughs> you. What's it like? Um, it's it's requires a certain rhythm of its own. It's well, it's an alternate world, really. It's something I've been doing for so long that it's like it's real life, but I have two real lives. I feel like I'm a bit on hold. I love it. It's how I want to live as much of the rest of my life as I'm physically able. It's like another family. It's like a second family. It's it's its own little reality, too. That's interesting. You start to think that tour is the only, only thing that exists. You're living out of a bag. You're moving from place to place. You often, you know, you don't have time to stop and think about where you've just been, so it all flies past. It's an amazing, because everybody is, um, is such a part of the family that the group is, um, 16 people pretty much seeing each other constantly, except for nights, um, it's really really connected, very interpersonal, very um, kind of receiving and giving um, to one another. The only, the only constants we have on this tour are the people we're traveling with and the music that we're singing. And everything else is kind of like, you can expend energy, but then we're leaving. Being with a group of singers, and particularly singing this kind of music, which is so exposing and at the same time rewarding, is um, it creates a connection that I don't feel like a lot of people have.
It's also such an education because I get to see these places that I've never been to before. And it's such a whirlwind because we're all new places for a night or two. A lot of the time, I'm very confused at the end of the day, where was I? Or the, or the next morning, especially, when I'm in the bus, right? You know, when I'm on the bus to the next place, where was I? It's, it's, a, it's a big question that I, don't, that I have a hard time answering often. Um, I guess um, a singing tour, a traveling singing tour, um, where I'm really not in control, I'm not calling the shots or making decisions for myself very much. Um, is not the kind of place that I have in mind for developing myself and, and taking the, the next steps in my life. I had some expectations and also the person that I've become is sort of clashes with a lot of the values that I see. I just love traveling around and, you know, calling dances or sharing music or there seem to be, to me, an infinite number of possibilities. And I have tapped pretty strongly into two. Two of them. And there are so many others that kind of occur to me in the back of my head. Occasionally I'll just be sort of thinking, God, I should gather some people and go do that in front of an audience somewhere in California. You know, like Touring for me is really letting go of like any need for that kind of established rhythm and just trying to, to feel what the new rhythm of the tour is going to be, which is really based in the music and based in the people that I'm touring with and, and uh, based in kind of enjoying what we're doing and, and feeling privileged that we're here. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I'm talking to Katie right now. Hello, Katie. Oh, it doesn't exist. Excuse me. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. That's good. You look an awful lot like a camera lens. Isn't that weird? It's very strange. Well, we have certain tasks that... Well, I, I guess I keep in mind certain tasks that... that we have as a group together, which are giving concerts and, and giving workshops, and um, um, I'm not super, super conscientious about um, putting the best, my best foot forward all the time, really. Um, those aren't things that I care about so much, even though I'm here, and that's, I think I feel like that's what I should care about. I don't like 
having to do things during the day on tour. That's why I don't like workshops so much. I really like the evening concert and free during the day and explore kind of thing. So when there's workshops or whatever during the day, I, I get a little bit grumpy. And so I have to really make myself take a deep breath and you know, realize that's what I'm here for, you know. That's part of the tour. Musically, the last three or four concerts, I was not really all there. <laughs> I think early in the tour, there were just a couple of songs that I keyed into that helped sustain me that way. Um, I lost track of those as, you know, during the last week a little bit. This tour, I found it very easy. I've, ha I've been really upbeat, had a lot of energy this whole tour just from the, the pure stimulus of what we're doing. I mean, we're singing incredible music with incredible singers who are really friendly, awesome people. And so for me, it's just been 100% 100 like pleasure the whole, pretty much the whole time. Partly it's the music and, um, and also would, would love to give a lot of credit to our, our director, Larry, who, um, who manages to create a group and who manages to create a group that is touring pretty much constantly with concerts every other night um, and also creates a sense of relaxed um, tourism, kind of, or like relaxed um, sightseeing and a relaxed mentality about the group um, because he's not ever, at, well, not ever, like maybe once or twice in the last 10 years, no, eight years, he's been stressed out. <laughs> you know, spend fun time together as well as, as the concert time and the workshop time. So it's not just all work, you know. You have to have some place where you don't get boring. I don't know how that saying, that saying goes. All work, no play. Makes a double lad or something. No, I think I got pretty tired. <laughs> I think that, you know, it helps that we're all pretty young. But um, in terms of actively doing that, I think I think a lot of us have had a lot of experience doing this kind of thing with Village Harmony and that's in some ways a kind of prerequisite. Um, it's just that they know how to do that already. I know I have to give myself a certain amount of downtime, personal time and... I have to sort of take myself away from the group sometimes. I have to force myself to do it because I really enjoy the social interactions. Um, but it's really necessary for me to get time where I'm not crammed, like signing into a van. It can't be a constant up. Um, and we've all had a chance to break down in front of other people, too. But I, I think we're just, we all cope with each other just really well. I mean, you have to. A lot of times it's really helpful just talking to other people on the tour. If I'm having emotional difficulties, talking to me really, really helps. And I tend to tell everybody my problems. <laughs> just one of those people. <laughs> and one great thing for me that has really made this tour, like, taking it from good to great, is uh, the presence of Nathan who we've discovered each other in each other the, the boyish love for games. We've just like bonded so well over games. It's, both of us grew up playing everything and anything and so we've found this love of Frisbee and soccer and Scrabble, chess, cards, like anything and everything. Um, I think having people on the tour that I feel comfortable just unloading to, um, that's enough. I haven't been getting enough sleep, I've been eating like crap, <laughs> I've been drinking way too much. So I feel like I haven't, I don't have as much energy as I do in my regular life, but um, the music serves to sustain me emotionally, for sure. The music is extremely powerful and like, especially after a concert, even though it only lasts maybe two hours or three hours, it's this 
adrenaline, adrenaline coursing through your body. And uh, so excited about what you just sang and what you're going to do with these amazing people that you sang with. And um, that, it, although it doesn't last through the night, obviously we go to sleep, it lingers. It lingers and you can feel it, you know, in the next concert, which is, which is my... I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> you know, when you're young, you don't really need or care to sleep when you could be having fun with friends. And it's just such a, it gives you so much energy to be around people like that, that you don't realize that you're tired sometimes. Um, personally, I, I don't know. I always have energy for concerts. That's another thing Nell said, that when he's feeling really bored in the concert or something, he notices that I'm like smiling all the time and still really engaging the audience and stuff. And that, that's just my I think of performing, you know? That's what we do, all of us, that's why we're here, is because we have the know-how to provide that energy for an audience. I think just having a group of 15 people, you know, friends, people that I really feel like I can With confide in you. if I need to. In traveling, I'd say I most often find that being alone is best for my peace of mind. But I've added 15 to my usual clan, <laughs> and for that I've found I'm a better man. Because you each remind me in 15 different ways to be healthy and happy in these glorious days. Aww. Aww. <laughs> there are people that I have chosen not to get as close to on this tour just because circumstances in my own life have made that a little bit difficult. Um, For instance, my past relationships on tour like Nils, it's very, very different dealing with him because the last time I was on tour we were together and this time we're not and that's, that's great, I wouldn't want with him, but. but even those people, if I needed to engage them in some sort of emotional discussion, I know that I would be able to. But it's been really nice sort of getting to reconnect with him as a friend. You know, you know, I've invited a handful of people that feel really safe to me um, into my more intimate emotional space on this tour. So I've kind of set those limits and that has what, that's been I think what's helped me take care of me, is knowing what those limits are and knowing who to share them with.
Well, 